Hey guys, welcome back to another video on learning Python. Now today we're going to be covering functions and variables in Python. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so here you can see I have um, a little page set up for today's video. Now, um, what I've got here is I've got I've created two variables at the top, and then I've got functions, and then I have uh, firing functions down the bottom. And I wasn't sure what to call it, so ignore that. This is just my notes. Um, no, to do a note, just because I can put it in this video, um, do hashtag, and then anything after it uh, will not be, um, what well, it won't, it won't be classified as program, it'll just be, like, writing notes, you can write a comment, like, this, so, um, uh, value is 100, right, so, you get what I mean, um, but, uh, so, this is basically creating a variables at the top. So what we have done is we have got the name of the variable and I've called it variable one. You can call it whatever you want. And then we have giving it a, given it a value. Now these values can be uh, numbers or they can be uh, strings. And our string is a line of text. So anything inside these brackets and then speech marks. Uh, now you can uh, you could technically do it like this, but what I would say was I would um, I would get used to doing um, speech marks um, because then if you do speech marks, you can do stuff like don't with a um, apostrophe instead of using uh, apostrophes as your outside. So keep that in mind because it'll help you with typing, well, writing. Um, so, uh, as you can see, this is how you set it up. So you give it the name, so just do a name, and then you do equals, and then you give it the value. Now, uh, a lot of stuff can go inside of a, a variable. Variables can hold um, a lot of things, but one thing that is very useful about variables is that um, sometimes you want to be able to say something, say you have a long bit of code, right? So uh, say we hmm, say we want to print hello world. So instead of happening to do this every time, we could put this inside a variable and we could, I'm not that great typing backwards, but we could um, name it something like um, uh, HW, as in hello world. And now every time we do, every time we want to, um, yeah, every time we want to, oh, well, well, or we could just do this, let's have a look. So we could just put the hello world inside and then now instead of happening to do print uh, open brackets and then type in the whole hello world we can just put hw and then that when we fire this you will see hello world at the top these are my examples but the hello world you can see has been fired at the top because this is firing that well uh, this is firing that more like but you get what I'm talking about so that is some basics about um, uh, functions well, not, not functions variables um, and we'll get to functions in a minute so yeah okay so now on to functions with functions functions are very good at holding text uh, holding information lines of code, uh, and then being able to fire it in uh, something else. So what I use it for a lot is by having a paragraph of code that I don't want to fire just yet, but then I, but then I can put, uh, it's almost like putting a whole chunk of code inside of another chunk of code, so you can fire this code later using, uh, using uh, it, uh, firing things like this uh, with the function um, with the function one function uh, two 
but I'll get to some stuff in a minute, but first we'll see how to write it. So to write a function, it's very simple. You want to do def as def, and then you want to here put the name. Now I can put the name as anything you possibly want. So I can just put example, right? And then you do open brackets, close brackets, and then you do colon and click enter. Now, like like with while true loops, when you click enter, it goes inside. And just to go over again, if I wanted to, I could either use tab or I could use four spaces. So, yeah. So, like, if I go that, okay, nice. So, anything inside of this is now inside of the function. So, I could do print, um, it works, whatever, you know? Um, now, if I was to hashtag these all off so that they won't work. Now, if I was to want to fire this, I would need to do example of the name of it, and then do open brackets, close brackets. Now, if I run this, you can see it says it works. But then if I was to delete the firing, it would not know when to fire. So I can click run like this, and you will see it doesn't actually work. It doesn't say it's there. So, um, so yeah, that's one way. But then also we could make it so that it needs to have something inside of it. So say I want it to be a number, we could put num, or you could even do the whole number, but I like to just put num. But now if we were to run it, you would see we get an error. That's right, yep. So missing requirement, uh, requirement. So it, it's missing something basically, and it's missing a number. So if we, for example, put one inside, you will see now it will run because we've given it a number. So <laughs> yeah, so it's very, it's functions are very cool, <laughs> but um, there are different stuff you can do with it, but I'll give you an example of something that will be very cool. Uh, well, very useful at least. So if we were to go back to our old video and um, we were to create a while true loop um so now you can see when i click when i run this program you can see it says done at the end and now what it's doing is it's coming down when it gets to ten thousand, it's printing this so it's firing the function and then it's breaking the loop. So this is very simple examples of variables and functions, but this is a beginner series. So I hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe for more content just like this, more tutorials. We have some more tutorials coming up, such as inputs in Python. So that's very good for doing games. But anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next video. And also, uh, I hope this video taught you something. So I'll see you guys. Bye.